Stop yawning, Hattie. You're on TV. <laughs> Hattie and I had to come down to the mailbox. Yeah, we're on our way home. It's Easter evening. It's been a beautiful day. It's a cloudy day, but beautiful. A little sunshine come out. But I guess it's just that you know what the, what the day meant. All the new life we see around us, the trees, the flowers are coming out. It's like uh, everything's like everything's rejoicing, even the, even the trees, and the plants. And uh, I'm going to try to move. Oh, I want to show you something. First, I want to show you something. I got to come down tomorrow. Uh, can you see it right here? That little white flower. It's a thistle. I got to come get it. I spotted it before it goes to sea. Dig it up. I'm hoping tomorrow to maybe try to bring Billy down here. Cows. I'm not sure how it's going to work out. It may be a three-ring circus. I'm just not sure. So we're going to try it. And move these guys out to the back pasture. That's what we're going to try, Eddie. That's what we're going to do. I left this hay on the trailer. Breezy said, Papa, don't move that hay. I'll send the boys over. You know, that's Jake and Larry. Breezy's in charge of us, too. But they ain't showed up. Breezy either forgot or they bowed up. So I'm going to go ahead and unload this hay and stay here in the carport till I get put it out. Not that much. So I'm going to do that real quick. I just want to tell you guys hello. Say hello. Yeah, it's a little bit messed up right now. We need to put everything back where it goes. Coffee pots, cushions, <laughs> my little wagon, everything on the pavilion it hadn't been put away yet. It's been a busy day. Busy day. All right. You leave that seatbelt alone, little lady. If you're going to ride your popo, you cannot. Do away with that seatbelt, okay? Carter, Carter, look at your pop <laughs> All right, Bree had a doctor's appointment or something this morning, so this is Monday, day after Easter. Beautiful day, a little bit cooler this morning, but beautiful. The wind was blowing when I got up. Uh, Come out for coffee, and uh, I've been kind of lazy today, but it was cool. And I got a couple little chores to knock off real fast. I showed y'all that little thistle yesterday. I think I was driving along, and I was noticed a couple of more. And I want to tell you something. When I'm out riding, yeah, it's a joy ride. It's a joy ride for me and. These little girls and, and, and my girl Heidi. But uh, it's also, it's also, I'm looking for things that need to be done or things that should have done, things that, uh, gotta put the mail up real fast. Uh, I should have got two or need to get two. Like thistles. You know, when they once go to that seed, once they go to that, well, the flower, when they make the flower, they're easily spotted. Come on, how this guy? They're easily spotted. And when I'm out riding, if you're riding, call it that, I'm looking for stuff like that. Fences down or a cow missing or out. Bulls trying to tear the fences up, stuff like that. Just look, and uh, so it's not just just riding. 
and uh, I'm going to get a, a bag, and we're going to go dig up those thistles. Well, I got a little earlier. She tried to go to sleep on me a little bit earlier. <laughs> Try to go to sleep on me. I wouldn't let her. I keep that one going off. You got room, Hyde? You got room down there to pop off legs? Yeah. Come on, squeeze in there. Ellie lost his key, car key. We've been searching everywhere near and far. Uh, he got out of his truck here, he said, and he locked the door. He said he used a key to lock it. He don't have a key check, he just dropped the key somewhere. And we have searched, searched, and we're still searching. I'm, he lost it. He said about six o'clock, so he didn't do a whole lot of running around since then. I don't know if he went over to his dad's or not. After that, walked over or something. Uh, we get a chance today. We're going to move these these cows. If I get uh, building them up by the corral in the front, we're going to try to pin him up and then move these by him out to the back and then we can bring him out and walk him up here probably with bucket of feet and maybe a cow here's this thistle right over here Kim's go trail out grazing doing well this morning listen here see just about ready to go to seed. See how it's all buzzing up for a little bit? You see these little things right here? Yeah, see, those are seed. And those things will blow away. So we're gonna dig it up, put it in the bag. All right, just dug up, just in the bag. And I don't see any have, have blowed around yet. There's about two. Feels good. Oh my lord. Look at this wild bunch. Hey baby. Hey baby. Hey my baby. Oh Zippy. Zippy's a good girl. But I want to tell you what about Zippy. Zippy likes to play rough. Zippy will start butting on you and get pretty doggone rough. Hey girls. When I move them, I'll spray them as we go through the corral up at the front. I'll stop them and spray them down. I got this salt block I got out in the back for the flies. And uh, and I'll, bring, I'll spray Billy good when I bring him up here too. Okay, we got this. We're gonna go to the okay. Back. Uh, Carter die and Heidi and Carter's over there. <laughs> we're gonna open this up, we're gonna bring these cows in along with Billy. Hey, baby, I know I love you. I love you. You gotta come in here, I need y'all to come in here for a while. Come on over here, guys. Let's go. Come on. Woo! Come on. Come on. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Come on, Granny. Come on. Let's go. Come on, people. I got something for y'all. Come on. Move. You got to move your big butt out of the way. Come on. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hang on, Carter. 
we're gonna bring those cows in here and hold them so we can get Moses and his family moved down. There you go. Promise you they don't go hurt you. Oh, now look at here. I don't need you to tell them what to do. Come on, girls. Let's go. I haven't got to come here and try to show them what to do. There he comes, old big guy. There he comes. There you go. Yeah, I'll spray you before you go down, okay? All right. Ivan, they don't need your help, Ivan. They don't need your help at all. Thank you so much. Thank you for the assistance. Go out. You don't need me here when they're getting pinned up. You either, Amy. It's just a cow thing. Just a cow thing. <laughs> oh, Ivan. No, sir. I know. I know you're a cow donkey. <laughs> like a cow horse. Because you're a cow donkey. I'm coming. We're going. We're going. All right. They'll be eating that. And we'll go ahead and go. And uh, we come back. We'll put them over in that crowd part. That's a miracle. She didn't need to come in here anyway. And... After I separate them, I'll bring Moses and his group down. All right, we're gonna cut this off for a minute. We're gonna go down and get a couple of thistles while they finish eating those cubes that I spotted, and we'll be back. All right, here's another one. See where these flowers pop out on them. They're easy to see. You be riding around, you'll see a little white flower or a purple flower somewhere, then you know about what it is. You go look at it, and then there it is. And uh, I got my bag. I got my shovel. And uh, I'll just get down here. Dig it right up. There we go. Alright. Hope y'all see seeing things. I'm putting them in the bag. It's in the bag. Got one more I saw uh, yesterday when I was riding. We're gonna go get it right now. If this thing went to seed, there'd probably be a thousand of them here next year. That's how fast they spread. Carter, Carter, don't you dare go to sleep, little kid. I go back home and sleep. You say, where you keep her so long? <laughs> All right, I'm going to get this one more thistle and I'm going to take it back. Okay? I'm going to get it. Papa's going to get it. I got to find where I saw it at. Somewhere. I remember right. It's right here in this area here.
look for them from the other side. Oh yeah, there you go. And yeah, this area somewhere, but I couldn't see it. That side, I had to come up on the other side to see it. It's a big one there. White and purple flowers. So I'm going to dig this thing up, put it in the bag. Yeah, it's too shaky trying to hold a camera and dig at the same time, so I'm not even going to do that. Uh, we're going to get it. And we're going to take little Sleeping Beauty home. <laughs> it's my good driving, folks. It's my good driving. All right. I'm going to try to show you something. See these? These are little seeds. Those will be in one of those little thistles. I was just now trying to get a seed. And I'm gonna pick up pick up what I see. Not gonna get them all. But I see some I'm gonna get real fast here. Okay. I see two or three more, then that's all we're gonna be able to get. Okay. See how they blow? They blow. Wherever it lands, makes con contact with soil, it will become a thistle. All right, we got it dug up. It's so big, it only fit in my bag. I'm not wearing boots or long jeans, so I can't stick my foot down there and mash it down. It just has to be that way till we get home. All righty, come on, baby girl. I might can come along here and sit some of this pine straw here on fire in case any of these little seeds got out. It'll burn them up. I know I didn't get them all. All right, I gotta take Sleeping Beauty home. I gotta take Sleeping Beauty home. You ready to go home, baby girl? Okay, Papa, let's go. All right, folks. Catch y'all later. All right, go. On, let's go. I got it right here. I got it right here. I'm trying to move. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Move, Daddy. Hey, Come on, baby. Picture the fit, ain't you? Y'all get on out the back. Let's go. Come on. Go, Zip. Let's go. Let's go. Zippy, come on. Come on, Zippy. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Zippy. Come on, baby. Right out there. Take off. <laughs> yeah, he's checking them out. All right. We got that part done. Now, the next part. He's gonna be taking this guy down yonder. We're gonna let him settle down first, okay? We're just gonna let him all settle down. Because right now, Moses is making all that big ruckus. 
He's got Billy a little bit on edge. He said, I don't know about this, Papa. I don't know where that little young guy thinks he's coming from. But he's not going to be in charge of me. So anyway, I'm going to take a little sleeping beauty here to the house. <laughs> she's done helped me move cows. She's helped me move cows and don't even know it. All right. Okay, they're all separated, like I'm gonna have them, except for I haven't moved Billy and his cow friend up to the front yet. I'm gonna probably let them stay here overnight. I'll put some hay in there, they got water. I just gave them some cubes. And that sweet baby, she'll be going down the front with Billy. Both very gentle. And uh, they'll be living in the front pasture. And big boy here, <laughs> he thinks he's big, wants to talk trash. And if he don't go on, this boy over here is going to get very upset with him. But uh, they'll probably stay in here overnight, maybe late this evening. I may try to move them late this evening. Right now, everybody else is kind of getting to know each other out there. I see you, Zippy. And uh, that black mama out there sizing each other up you know there's gonna be a, a pecking order and that's what they're going to establish today those that want to be in charge of someone else is going to start trying to push the issue uh all the others are out grazing settling in real well i've decided he'll he'll just take care of miracle and let the rest of them be <laughs> once he found out he could he was not going to be a, a cow donkey there's cow horses and there's cow dogs, but I don't know of a cow donkey. Anyway, uh, these two are going to be fine in the front, I believe. They're both very gentle, very laid back, and I don't think there'll be any kind of issues with them once we move them. Now, as long as Moses keeps coming up here to the fence talking to trash, it may keep him a little bit upset, so... Hopefully, we get ready to move these to the front. I'm hoping Moses and those other cattle, cows out there will be in the back and not cause any kind of issues. I believe Billy will follow me. And uh, sweet girl will too, sweet baby, will follow me with a bucket of cubes down to the front pasture. And we'll put them a roll of hay in there, too, this afternoon, maybe. And that way, when they go in there, they'll have water, hay, and plus the grass is coming on pretty good. So they should be fine. And I'll spray them with, for the flies. Uh, these guys back here should be fine. I'll get, a, I'll get another salt block, at, fly treatment salt block, and put down the front, too, for them. And uh, may get a small one for them goats. It may be good for goats. Moses checking everybody out. He checked. He even checked out Ivan. I said, "You leave me alone, boy. I ain't gonna tolerate it." All right, I'm gonna cut this thing off, guys. Y'all seen what we're gonna do? Uh, if we move Billy this afternoon, I'll add that to it. Right now, everything is calm and quiet out here, and everybody sizes each other up. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that Moses don't go over and start talking trash to Tex over on the fence line. All it's going to do is upset Tex, and Moses don't stand a chance against Tex. <laughs> Not even as much as poor Billy had. He ain't got near the size, nor any kind of a horn. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut this off. Thank you, guys.